I was not only privileged to go to um, the chief's meeting, but I have been reading right along the accomplishments the last two weeks that North Miami Beach Police Force have done. Um, it's just amazing to stop somebody and find somebody that was wanted for a lot of bad, bad things and for a long time in North Miami Beach is right there and saw it and captured him. And, you know, the public doesn't see that behind the scenes when that's their first priority, when they ask us about the budget, is to feel safe. I just want to say that I appreciate it. I also got a note that PUC has been the public utilities meeting for 713 has been canceled. So we will probably meet in August. We'll find out in August if that meeting is going to continue. I know that, and I, I, I did not hear if we have a quorum for Thursday night's meeting. You were going to get back to me on that. Um, we do? Okay. We have a meeting on Thursday night for that. Okay. Um, and the last thing I would like to say is that I had the privilege to go with the Haitian community to um, St. Augustine that there, it was very, it was not only interesting, but everybody was saying how the first general was patent, the first general that came to the United States, uh, the, the black American general, was the general that was the Haitian man that came here to St. Augustine and stood up and fought with the Spanish people to give us freedom here. And, I have to tell you something. What was the most interesting thing about it, A, was how gorgeous their city hall is, how gorgeous their grounds are in that city. But And I said, how did you build such a gorgeous city hall? And, of course, they did it years ago from federal funds. But, um, you know, you don't know where you are until you know where you've come from. And I have to tell you what pride and what an accomplishment every one of us can look into our backgrounds and see where what did 